So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my new video series in Vision Architecture. In this video, we gonna look what is Open Vino and how to install Open Vino. So in the last video, we have made run run inference on Onyx model as well as PyTorch model, converting it into Onyx. So in this video, we gonna install Open Vino. In next coming series, we will convert our Yolo V5 model to open window and run inference and open window. So let's look what is open window. Here is open window and here we look what is it. Open window is an open source toolkit used for optimizing and deploying deep learning models. It provides booster deep learning performance for vision, audio and language models from popular frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch and more. So OpenVINO is an optimized model where the models, the various models in TensorFlow, PyTorch, Cafe, Onyx and MXNet is converted to OpenVINO and these OpenVINO models run run on every CPUs like Intel's, Intel only CPUs, CPUs, GPUs, VPUs and FPGA even. So these models are these Frameworks models are optimized and converted to OpenVINO to run in these kinds of CPUs and give high performance. This could even run in Linux, Windows and Mac OS. So OpenVINO enables you to optimize deep learning models from almost any framework and deploy it in best performance on range of Intel processors and other hardware platforms. So typically work with the open window is shown below. The typical this is the work chart flow flow of an open window. So first we have to train the model in any frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, or Cafe. So open window is an inference engine, not a training framework. Understand guys, this is not a training framework. Don't confuse it with training framework. So you can't train open you can't train data using open window. It's an optimized inference engine. This is specialized for CPU uses and if, if uh, commercial industries use only Intel CPUs, so people prefer OpenVINO for CPU performance, thus it was, it was invented by Intel. So the first, <coughs> the first model is trained and our pre-trained model is picked and then it is optimized Retrain with optimization could be quantized. Quantization is it reduces the weight to intake FP32 or even FP16, that is floating point 16. The weights are reduced, and after optimization, that there comes deployment. Deployment in the sense it could be run in anywhere, even inferencing what we have seen last in our last video. So it could build package, image serve a model with open window model server even in cloud and it could be in, deployed in anywhere so it's a high performing deep learning model so model com here is entire documentation of the model quantization and compression have given and you could check my description for many more documentation as well and we we post further videos on open we know as well so it's used for company startups who use the who use CPUs like Intel CPUs and it's unlikely to be used in Linux also so these are the Intel's processors where first is our Intel core where we use i5 processor i7 processor even and there comes Intel Atom Xenon Iris this is a GPU and data center GPU then even in Intel Movidius, Intel Movidius is a controller which could be installed anywhere in even microcontroller or embedded systems. With using Movidius chip, we could run the inference anywhere, even in Edge. So let's get started to install it. Let's go to the install section and we could learn how to install it. So here is my installer kit. 
so I'm choosing developing tools and you could even download and run time I go with development tools or you even you could go with runtime if you choose runtime if you have already a model then you wanna run inference on it then you could go with runtime but now I'm going to with going with development tools and my OS is Windows and take a minute let's wait a minute So our operating operating system is Windows our version is I need 22.3 LTS it's the latest version I go with pip install and I I need only PyTorch framework and Onyx then yeah here is where we are in this I gonna create an environment in Anaconda prompt so you could see you could see my download as well so wait a minute let me open the Anaconda prompt Here is my Anaconda prompt, and I gonna create an environment here. So, Conda create yen, then the environment name. I gonna give this is open mean. For the reference, I would put V I N. You could give any name for it, and I gonna give my Python equal to three point. Then you could give any versions and just give enter yeah it's collecting the package and you need to press Y for S yeah it's executing the transaction and you once if you install environment you could go and activate the environment so I gonna go and activate it so I'm gonna go on the activate open when Yeah, it's activated. Now we go to installation part. Just copy and paste this. I'm gonna give enter and it's running. Yeah, it's successful. Yeah, it's done. Now I'm gonna give pip install open Reno. Just gonna copy this, and just paste it here. Yeah. Now it's running. Good. That's good. Cool going. I think it takes time until that we see we see some things the system requirements so it supports windows 10 in python versions up to 3.10 and we have installed python 3.10 and here we have windows 11 use it and it's recommended for 12th generation interpret processor and we have the 12th generation interpret processor what included in download page so here is runtime inference engine model optimizer accuracy checker annotate annotation converter then both string optimization tools 
here we go so if we want runtime package we could go with runtime packages Choose. That's downloading, guys. The torch is downloading for us. Torch would run on. <coughs> the torch would run on. Uh, count out sync. Like it don't. It uses CPU. And the normal version of torch is downloading now. It's been 163. 167 MB. Let's go on to the documentation and let's look. Let's look what what can we post in our next video so here it is here are model preparations and here we convert our pytorch or uh, tensorflow models to open window and then we could run the inference and here is something awesome i found here is the open model zoo here you can see the pre-trained models like fast r cnn restnet gogo addis so here is more pre-trained models that is the open model zoo gives you you could use these models for detection purpose in your cpu itself with high inf with high frame rate see the complexity g flops the speed is 0.094 and the size is 2.138 mp so here, it, here is the models, you could look after the models, the person re-identification and here we have the segmentation models, even road segmentations, thematic segmentation unit, ice net, everything you have. Here we have the human post estimation, yeah, let's go here and we run this, we do this in next video. So next video's topic is running human post estimation estimation using python here we have we just need to download the open model zoo and just run the inference on the video of peoples so that you can calculate the human post estimations here we go here we go guys and we have how it works on the startup the application reads command line parameters downloads the model and upon getting the frame in OpenCV video capture it performs the inference and displays the results so here we we have a command line that is CLI so omz downloader list model dot list preparing to run this is the running CLI command where you use to run it here you have post estimation and you have the index for your camera and your CPU and then your model that is the every model will save in XML file yeah I think we have downloaded the open you know let's go and check I think it's downloaded. I think it's downloaded, guys. Wait a minute. It's getting more catchy. I think it's slowing down. Yeah, it's good. Now it's cool. It has been downloaded and. <coughs> See you on next video guys, until that bye bye, see you.